day 84 for the vlog and there was no run today but I did a hike with my friend and my mom and stepdad we did 4.7 miles so that was a nice time and it was a little bit changed for them <laughs> they normally go hiking up north which is greater elevation but they said the hike that we did was more challenging I think because it was straight up from the beginning and they got into maybe two or three spots of almost bouldering where we had to they had to get on all fours and climb up a little bit and they weren't used to that but they had their little dog poodle there Belle and she did fine she was happy she seemed a little tired afterwards but I think the sun got to him a little bit and had a fun time I think they they definitely said it's weird thinking that the city is only 10 minutes away and they could get it to a trail like that that was that challenging so that was fun and after the hike we went to brunch met my younger brother and his wife we had snooze which was really good I can't remember the name of the food I got but it was What's it called? Banana bread French toast. But they had a like, funky monkey banana bread or something like that was the name of it. But it was really good, really good. And then I had a side of hash browns. So that was really good. We sat and talked a little bit. Everyone enjoyed their food. I think everyone ate well, was happy. And we left. They dropped me back off the place. I walked the pup real quick rinsed off, changed, and met my dad. We went to the Suns game, and it was their first playoff game. And they haven't been in the playoffs, I, I want to say 12 years, so it's been a long time. I want to say it's 12, but it's close to 12. At least 10, maybe 12. We'll, wait, we'll go with 11, right in the middle. And my dad talked to me Thursday night, Friday night, no, Wednesday. And he said, just get tickets. He's like, I'll pay for it, don't worry about it. How often are they going to be in the playoffs again? This might not ever happen. What if they trade someone? What if someone gets injured? It's like, they've done so well, they were ranked second, going in the playoffs for the West, so why not get tickets and we'll deal with it later. We'll have a good time. I said, all right. So I got tickets, went to the game, and as soon as we got to the front, already it was just electrifying. They had a band there, five or six guys playing drums, and I don't know what else, I didn't get a chance to see everything. But they were going like, beat LA, beat LA, and they got the crowd going, they were excited. We got to our seats, then at the break, at the end of the first quarter, we went to go look around for a jersey or a shirt or something. Couldn't find it, but the game was still pretty intense. They just kept chanting, we're in a good crowd, a bunch of Suns fans around us. I had a great time. I don't think I've ever heard my dad cheer at, like that at a live event before, so I mean, we watched hundreds of Suns games on TV before. But he has never been that energetic and it got me excited so i was trying to be more energetic and there was people around us and they were energetic so the energy was just feeding off and even one of the guys in front of us said his brother was outside i guess they had the game on one of the screens and they said they heard the chanting from outside from inside outside so that was kind of cool to hear and yeah, we had a great time. The Suns won. I wish I could remember the score. I want to say like 99 to 89, something like that. They won by 9 or 10 points, which was great. One of our main guys, Chris Paul, had gone down in the first or second quarter. He got injured. They walked him back, and you could tell he was upset. I don't think they announced what happened, but he came back out and... The 
third quarter, midway in the third quarter, and the crowd just stood up, started cheering, got everyone excited again. It was just nonstop. I mean, we would just have a great time. We had a great time. Oh, I mean, I hope that they won. It's always nervous playing the Lakers. They have such a good team right now. But they put on a great show either way. Brought out of both teams. Let's see, after that, we went to get some food. We had a little dinner and got back. I just felt full, so I didn't get to do much. So I didn't run. The plan was to run 6.3 three or 6.7 miles that would have put me at 45 or 46 miles at the end of the week and just after eating I just it's like I don't I don't want to go around and feel kind of miserable with that food in my stomach and <sighs> so I passed on that so I feel a little bit bad about but I did do the push-ups I didn't do any other lifts I'm at 109 days with push-ups I passed out on the couch after I ate again. After eating, I came back and I had some leftover pizza from Friday. I only had about two slices and I said, I don't really want any more. I don't want to finish the other two. But I made that smoothie again and that really hit the spot. And shortly after that, I passed out on the couch and woke up. I had to do the last 50 of the push ups and jot down the <clears throat> but I did on the calendar through the video vlog and here I am on that I finished reading and now here we are end of the day had a great time the day scale was probably nine just I don't, nothing I would have changed which it was amazing had a great time great day all around great weather great time seeing the fam Feels good to be at a nine. It's been a long time. See what tomorrow brings. Go to bed now. All right, run your life with health and happiness. Have a good night.